Hi everyone, it's Mr. Monica again. Today we're going to read a story that I think most of you are familiar with. This book was the winner of the Caldecott Medal, and they made a movie about it. Any ideas? It's about a boy who starts off the story in his bedroom, but then travels to a magical place. Any guesses yet? It's Where the Wild Things Are, written by Maurice Sendak. And I'm reading this story today with permission from Harper Trophy Books. Where the Wild Things Are. I love the illustrations in this story. You can see the main character, Max, and a couple of the monsters. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind, and another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. and grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still! And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start.
Looks like they're having a lot of fun. Now stop, said Max, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smells good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. it was still hot. That's the end of our story, my friends. I hope you enjoyed Where the Wild Things Are. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.